Are you wondering if there's a way for you to use AI as a music teacher to save time? Well, there are lots of ways, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the tool Magic School AI to help you save time. I think AI, better known as artificial intelligence, can be kind of a scary idea to us, but if we look at AI as a way to save time as a busy music teacher, then I think we can kind of feel a little bit better about it. And I think hopefully after watching today's video, you'll see that there are some really great tools out there that will help you save time and create content as a music teacher. If you're looking for more ideas for the elementary music room, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel so that you get updates anytime I upload a new video. All right, so the tool Magic School AI is fairly new as I'm recording this and uh, it is free it does have a premium version to it but what i'm showing you today you can use for free i'm actually going to do a screencast so you can see the tool as i'm talking about it here's magic school ai all right so once you are inside of magic school you are going to see kind of like a dashboard here and you will see all of my favorites which i'll talk about in a minute and then you'll see the rest of the tools so we have all of these tools that were specifically created with teachers in mind. So you may have played around with ChatGPT. That's kind of like the most popular or common AI tool that we've heard about. And that can be a really powerful and great tool. But this really is built with teachers in mind. So you have prompts that are already created for you. And it just makes it easier to get the output that you want. So we have all of these different ideas, and if you come across a tool that you uh, think that you'll be using in the future, then you can just star it. So like Choice Board, I can go ahead and click the star, and then that's going to go ahead and come up in my favorites. So that's kind of the main part of the dashboard here. And then over on the left here are some other tools, which uh, we'll talk about in a little bit here. But I'm going to start with some of these tools up here. So let's say that you want to create a rubric. I'm going to go ahead and click rubric. And let's say you're doing recorders with fourth grade. So I'm going to click fourth grade. A pretty solid rubric I, I feel like and the great thing is I can go to copy and I could copy it into like a Google Doc or if I click Save Resource yep so this is going to be one of those differences I did have the premium version of Magic School through my school district up until very recently so that's where you'll see some um, limitations with the free versus premium um, but, I mean, if you can copy this and just paste it into a Google Doc, great, right? You don't necessarily need to save it anywhere. Okay, but just out of curiosity, yeah, so I mean, I even like copied the colors over. And then I could go ahead and, you know, kind of play around with this if I want to make it a little bit bigger. But, and then, you know, you could play around with it so it's all on one page, maybe make the font a little bit smaller, however you want to do it. But there you go, you could just print that out and there is your rubric, so cool. All right, and then if you click output history, now I have this in my output history. All right, I'm gonna come back here to Magic Tools. And again, we have all of these different things that we could do. This one I used recently and was really loved by it. So I'm gonna go to YouTube video questions. Again, I'm actually gonna say fourth grade because the video I wanna use is George Needs the Orchestra. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and then copy this. I'm going to come back to Magic School AI. Let's say five questions. 
Okay, so we have multiple choice for response or true and false. I'll leave it as multiple choice. And then I am going to paste the YouTube link in there. And then I'm going to click generate. And then, I mean, oh my gosh, how crazy is this? Then it's asking me all these questions. What is an orchestra? What is the role of a conductor in an orchestra? And obviously you always want to go back through the output and make sure that it's accurate. And like I would probably want to change this to hit, shake, or scrape, um, even if the video didn't necessarily talk about it because that's something I've talked about with my students quite a bit. But this is a really interesting part here is that it's actually showing you not only the correct answer, but where in the video it is. How incredible is that? That kind of blows my mind. I mean, it literally scanned it for five seconds and came up with that, right? It's, I, I, that's really mind-blowing to me. This, I think, would be really great for subplans. So like if you're sick at home and you're trying to come up with a quick and easy subplan, then you could find videos that you know are good videos for your students to watch, put the link into the YouTube question generator. I think that's what it was called. Let's come back here. YouTube video questions and then come up with multiple choice questions. And these could be ones that maybe you hand out worksheets or maybe they could be ones that students just vote on, however you wanna do it. So cool, such a great time saver. And I'm gonna show you one more tool within Magic School AI. Let's try project-based learning. <music> have all of these different aspects to the PBL and you know obviously you're still going to want to get in here and tweak it quite a bit but this is a really great tool for like if you're kind of stuck right like let's say you know you want to do a PBL about melody but you're just you're like okay I just need some more ideas so maybe like what I probably would pull from this is ooh, I really like that public product it's just a good way to kind of like brainstorm ideas because it's coming up with some ideas and then you can put in your own ideas. And then again, if you have the premium version, then you could get a little bit more specific with what you give, but it really does save time because it, it's just going to give you some ideas that maybe you have, hadn't thought of before. So it's not going to write everything for you, but it is going to help you out. And then one last thing I want to show you about Magic School AI is if you come over here, Reina is kind of like what you're used to with ChatGPT. So this is very similar to what it looks like with ChatGPT, right? All right, so that gives you an idea of what you can do with Magic School AI, and I'm sure it's just gonna keep getting better and better, right? Um, Magic Student right here is something that will be coming that students will be able to use AI, which is a whole other can of worms, right? But the Magic Teacher part of it is just really it could be such a time saver. All right, so I hope that was helpful as you consider how to use AI as an elementary music teacher. Make sure that you like this video if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel as I will be coming out with more videos about AI. And I will also link below to some blog posts on my blog about technology if you like using tech tools in your music room. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at aliens underscore music underscore room and on TikTok at Aileen's Music Room. Have a great day.